Hello, welcome back to Unified Oski. Your success is our delight. In this video, I'd like to take us to A to E assessment of a heart failure patient. Your allotted time for your assessment is 20 minutes. You have five minutes to read your pre-filled assessment form and 15 minutes to carry out your A to E assessment. Please do make sure you read your scenario before you go along. Let's get started. As I approach this thing, I can confirm the scene is safe to approach. There's nothing to cause harm, harm to myself or my patient. I ensure privacy is provided by pulling the curtain. It's just an imaginary curtain. I go ahead to do my hand hygiene following WHO standard. I roll palm to palm, palm to back of hand, vice versa. Fingers interlace, fingers interlock, vice versa. Rotational rubbing of the thumb, rotational rubbing of the thumb. My fingertips on palm, my fingertips on palm. My wrist in rotational manner, my wrist in rotational manner. Allow my hands to air dry for 30 seconds. Go ahead to put my apron. Now put on my glove. Then I can approach my patient. Hello. Hi, nurse. Yeah, my name is Zademola. I'm your attending us for today. I'm here to do an A to E assessment on, on you and ask some questions on activities of daily living. Is it a good time to do that? Yes, nurse. Oh, great. Thank you. Before I go ahead, I would like to check your full name and date of birth as I cross check with my documents and your wristband. Can you tell me your full name, please? It's James Smith. 881975. Perfect. I've got that on my document and I can see that on your wristband as well. James Smith, 881975, hospital number 123456. Yeah, what would you like to be called? James. Oh, great. Yeah, James, have you got any allergy to food, drugs, or latex that you know of? No, none that I know of. Wonderful. I can see there's no any documented allergy. Can you hear and see me well? Yes, perfect. Wonderful. Have you been resting in the last 20 minutes? Yes. Oh, great. James, are you in any form of pain or discomfort? Yeah, my, my heart is racing. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Uh, can I just reposition you with a pillow and support you with a pillow? Yes, nurse. Can you take a deep breath for me? <sighs> are you okay, James? feel much better now. Oh, are you sure? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, just take a deep breath for me. I hope I'm not going to die, nurse. Oh, I, um, um, James, I know you are so anxious. Please just try to calm down. I'm going to do an assessment on you now, and I'm going to escalate and see what is needed if you need oxygen if we need to escalate your doctor i'm going to do that but I, I quickly need to know what your heart rate is before i know what plan i need to do and assessor if this is a real clinical setting you know james is really panicking if there is need to start an oxygen i will go ahead and do that and escalate immediately but this is an exam setting so i'm quickly going to do an assessment and I will escalate as needed. So James, are you still happy for me to go ahead? Do you feel better? Yes, yes, nurse. Are you okay? Yes. Yeah, take a deep breath, calm down. Don't be nervous. I'm here to take care of you. You are in safe hand. Is that okay? Yes. Are you still happy for me to go ahead? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you, James. And I'll be quick about that. Yeah. So is it okay to use your left arm to check your blood pressure? Yes, nurse. Can I just touch you, please? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you make sure your legs are uncrossed, James? Yes, they are. Okay. I'm looking at your arm. I can see there is no oedema, there is no lesion, there is no cannula, and there is no any form of redness or infection. So I'm happy to use this arm. I've got the right size of cough, you know, that can fit into James' arm. So I'm going to wrap it to cover 80 centimeter of the upper ham and two to three centimeter above the anti-cubital fossa, not too loose and not too tight.
Yeah, James, when I try to inflate the curve, you're going to feel some tightness in your arm. But I want to assure you that it's just for a while. You'll be fine as soon as I deflate it. Is that okay? While that is going on, James, do you mind having a look at your other right hand? Is that okay? Yes, no. Okay, wonderful. I'm looking at your finger. I can see it's not cold, it's not clammy. There's no artificial nails. I'm going to do a capillary refill. I'm depressing your finger. I depress it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I release it and I can see your capillary refill is less than two seconds. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to write down so I don't forget. So the blood pressure is done. It's 120 by 60. So I'm going to deflate it now. Is that okay? Yes, nice. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to be attaching the probe for your to check your oxygen saturation. Is it okay to touch your finger? Yes, nice. Yeah, thank you. And that is done. Your oxygen saturation is 95. And I've noted that on my chart. So now, James, I will need you to be calm and quiet for two minutes and i will not be able to talk to you within these two minutes is that okay with you yes, sir. is it okay to touch your wrist yes. i'm i'm going to count your heart rates okay at this point and i need you to be quiet for two minutes okay assessor my time starts now okay two minutes is over yeah, James, I'm sorry. I actually counted your heart rate for one full minute. I checked for the rhythm, the rate, the pattern, regularity of your poor heart rate. And your heart rate is 80 beats per minute. I'm sorry I didn't inform you earlier. I also checked your respiratory rate. And I did check for the rates, the rising and falling of your chest the depth of your respiration as well. I can see there's use of accessory muscles because you are breathing with some level of difficulty, uh, but your respiratory rate is 26. I will let you know the escalation plan as soon as I am done. Your respiratory rate is on the high side. Is that okay with you, James? Yes, nurse. Okay, so now I'm going to check your temperature we'll be using your forehead is that okay with you james yes, nice. so i'm looking at your forehead i can see there's no bleed there's no rashes there's no any form of redness or any form of wound you hear bleep sound and that's your temperature reading is that okay yes okay wonderful so i'm done with that i'll be writing that your temperature is 36.5 i've noted that on my chart so i don't forget that I've carried out an assessment using the A to E approach. Airway, when I came in, I can see James can talk to me in complete two to three sentences. There's no any form of obvious obstruction. And so I'm happy the airway is clear. James, can you just cough out for me? <coughs> oh, wonderful. I can see there's no any obstruction in your airway. That's wonderful. Now moving to the B, which is the breathing. For the breathing, I checked your respiratory rate. Your respiratory rate is on the high side, which is 26. You have a score of 3 on that. And I can see you are breathing with some level of difficulty. I've repositioned you already and I've asked you to take deep breathing exercise. That is going to be helpful. But apart from that, there is no any form of strider. There is no wheezy. And I'm, I'm, I will be back again to check you every one hour, like I said, as regards that. And I've also checked your saturation. Your saturation is 95%. You're having a score of one on that, but not too bad. We'll still keep an eye on you, and that will be escalated as well to the side on the next action of plan. Moving to the circulation, I check your heart rate for one full minutes checking the rhythm the rates the regularity or irregularity of your heart rate and your heart rate is 80 beats per minute 
and i also check your blood pressure your blood pressure is 120 60 and you have a score of zero for that i checked your capillary refill time your capillary refill time is less than two seconds and that gives us an assurance that you are well perfused now moving to the disability james can you wiggle your hands for me yes wonderful james do you know where you are at the moment Okay, wonderful. I've also communicated that at the beginning, and you told me you know where you are. Um, Assessor, can I confirm James' blood sugar is normal? Okay, great. So your blood sugar is normal. James, have you had the wind the last one hour? Yes. Ma okay, wonderful. So James is having a wind. So I'm happy with that. Now, moving to the E, which is the exposure. On the part exposed on James' body, I cannot see any form of wound or rashes up except for the legs that are a bit swollen the ankle are swollen and james told me he's having some pain on the leg as well and apart from that assessor on the part covered on james body is there any other wound bleed or rashes none okay so i'm happy with that and the temperature is 36.5 which is in which you have a score of zero as regards that um now james can I, i'm looking at your pre-field assessment form for your past medical history i can see you have a past medical history of um, congestive cardiac failure and that may be a part of the reason why your heart is raising like a horse you can see you have you are on treatment already you are on a medication which is degozin and that is going to help you with that okay can you just give me a few minutes to plot your news chat and i'll be right back to tell you what's the escalation plan is that okay with you yes so the news chat just give us an idea of how frequent we need to check on you and if there is need for any immediate urgent attention is that okay yes. okay yeah here's the call bell if you need anything just press the call bell and i'll be right back okay thank you gents yeah so i'm plotting my news chat the temperature is 36.5 so under the column for temperature 36.5 26.5 falls between the range of 36.1 and 37 and that's a score of zero your the consciousness level my patient is conscious and alert okay and for the circulation the heart rate is 80 and has a score of zero the blood pressure is 120 by 60 um the focus is on the systolic systolic of 120 is a score of zero under the level for air or oxygen at this moment my james is on room hair so that's a i'm writing a in that column now moving to the spo2 the saturation was 95 percent and that's a score of one and i'm using spo2 scale one because james is on room hair and moving to the respiration james respiration is on the eye side respiration is 26 and that's a score of three in a single parameter i make sure i write the dates the time of my exam the patient's name would have been pre-filled already and the date of birth pre-filled already so now the news total i have a total news of four my monitoring frequency is going to be one hourly because i have a score of three in a single parameter my escalation is definitely yes why and i signed my initial so now i'm going back to james hello james Hi, nurse. are you okay yes nurse. yeah i'm back like i said yeah i've plotted your news chat 
your news charts you have a total score of four you have three in a single parameter you no know, just like you told me that your heart is raising like a horse your respiratory rate is you have respiratory rate of 26 counts which is three in a single parameter and for your oxygen saturation you had a score of one and you have that means give us a total score of four so for the three in a single parameter i'll be monitoring you every one hourly i will escalate to the registered nurse and also to the medical team the registered nurse will escalate to the medical team and they would decide on the escalation plan as required but i'm going to be back in another one hour to check on your respiratory rate again i've repositioned you deep breathing exercise just keep taking deep breaths your saturation is okay for now so the registered nurse will review and they will decide if there's need to place you on oxygen is that okay with you thank you very much okay yeah james i would just like to ask you some questions on activities of daily living is that okay with you yes yeah how's your mobility like how do you move move around um i move around the help of a senior friend okay wonderful i've noted that and i've asked you a question on your elimination you said you're passing water well and you don't have any problem with pass opening your bowels is that right yes okay how is your sleeping pattern like do you sleep well it's not the best because i'm always anxious at night oh uh thank you for letting me know i'm going to refer you to the sleep therapist with your consent if you don't mind is that yes, okay please. okay so we'll be referring you to the sleep therapist and with your breathing i can see you having some difficulty in breathing and because of your diagnosed cardiac failure as well if you don't mind, we'll refer you to the heart failure team. Is that okay with you? Yes. And I know you are anxious. Are you still anxious? It's a bit better now. Okay. But if you don't mind, I can still refer you to the psychotherapist. They can help you with your anxiety. Is that okay with you? Yes. And just take deep breaths, like I said, deep breathing exercise, some diversional activities of your choice will help to relieve your anxiety is that okay with you yes um that's all for now do you have any question any concern for me no thank you very much okay wonderful james this is the call bell if you need any help just press the bell and i'll be right back is that okay with you yes okay and i'll be back again to check you in one hour's time to make sure you are fine keep taking deep breathing exercise and make sure you are sitting upright in this way support yourself with a pillow don't try to lie down at this moment is that okay yes. okay i'll be leaving you for now okay and i'll remove my glove into the clinical waist my apron goes into the clinical waist i will do my final hand hygiene and that is all for your a to e assessment scenario Thank you.